What's going on guys and welcome to another video. This video is a follow-up to my application of CarPro Gliss, which is a coating topper. Uh, it works on naked paint, but uh, CarPro does talk a lot about it being on top of C-Quartz UK, which is what was on the Jeep before I put CarPro Gliss on. So that application video is up. Go check that one out if you're interested in how to apply CarPro Gliss, which is very, very similar to applying any coating. You know, you just use the uh, applicator block and then the microfiber little towel and you go to town. So this is going to be a follow-up video. As you guys can see, um, I... <laughs> drove to Cleveland and back in one day. And this is what happened in one day, which makes me very grateful for living in Columbus because normally it's not this bad, but Cleveland got a ton of snow. What the heck? This was from my neighbor. Holy shit, that's awesome. She lives over there. Thank you for this. Oh my gosh. She did put it on the paint, but I will forgive her for that since it's the Jeep. <laughs> so anyways, this is literally one day, less than 24 hours of driving in the nasties. And we're gonna see how well CarPro Gliss is going to let this dirt fly off the paint. So there's just Seacourse UK with CarPro Gliss on top. That's gonna be it. We're gonna have to blast this thing and see how well the paint beads. As you guys could see from the footage, the car is beating very well. Um, it's not significantly different than it was before, but it definitely has, you know, the water beads sitting on top and running off of the paint, as you can see, especially on the panels that are, you know, aimed downward. It definitely falls off much easier, but I will say, you know, there is still dirt here, so it doesn't prevent every single type of dirt, but I will say, um, maybe the application, you know, I, I just kind of went to the edge here. Maybe that's why there's a little extra water gathering um, Maybe my application could have been a little bit better So you have to take that into account if I screwed anything up or didn't do it as well as I could have um, I think it's definitely worth it. I think you know judging by you know kind of everything I'm seeing it's beating up really well but it definitely doesn't prevent dirt you know I don't know how well I just blast this area but there's definitely salt that's stuck so unfortunately um, it doesn't prevent every single type of nasty road um, element that's out there especially the calcium chloride and all that shit that everyone just freaking hates man it looks good it definitely has more depth to the paint and I'm pretty happy with it. So it was definitely worth it, especially like I said on these panels that are, you know, aimed downwards. I mean, the water's definitely dripping off, but the dirt definitely sticks more to it. You can see this panel is a little dirtier, um, and I did blast that. So dirt will still stick and stay as long as it's sitting for enough time. Go check that video out of the application process. It's extremely similar to regular coating. Definitely recommend it on a winter beater, as I call it. Anytime there's any sort of salt, snow, anything cold, anywhere rocky or sandy or wet or whatever, I mean, I'm driving this. I've actually been daily driving the Jeep a lot more than I have ever driven the Jeep, kind of in general. And I don't really know, I mean, a lot of that's because of the winter time, but just sort of in general, it's just such an easy vehicle to hop into and go. I mean, it's an automatic, it doesn't really need to warm up for very long, and everything works really well. Of course, as you guys know, the only, one of the biggest downfalls about this is the gas mileage is horrible, but um, I did get a little bit better on the highway. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I usually like update stuff like that. Uh, so go check my page out if you're interested when I go on a little traveling um, excursion. CarPro Gliss will be in the description below. I did kind of go more in depth on that application video, describing kind of what it is, why I'm using it. And this is sort of a follow-up video, really just the point is to tell you guys what I think, and I think it's worth it. 
Um, I definitely think it's worth doing. It's not going to hurt, um, but it is a a full you know process. I did a decontamination, uh, a full wash, of course, and I did the wheels really well just to make sure every surface of the vehicle was as clean as possible before doing a coating. And of course, it has to be extremely dry. It has to be completely dry. So um, it is kind of a pain. It is kind of a process, but. I wanted to follow up with you guys because I did have a bunch of people asking, make sure you do a video on the follow-up to the CarPro Gliss. There was definitely a few people um, on the comments of that first video, so I did see them and I did remember to do a video, so this is a follow-up. As far as applying it on the M3, if you guys watch my videos of the M3 beating, that car beads extremely well. So I don't know if it's a combination of the X-Bell with the uh, coating on top, if that for some reason beads differently than just paint with a coating, I don't know, or maybe it's just the color, it looks different, or maybe just my application was that much better. Uh, the temperature and the cure time and my process for doing it might have been better than maybe for this, for example. I don't know, there's so many variables there. Uh, one of the biggest things that's not present for the M3 that is for the Jeep is nasty weather. A lot of that is salt. Salt breaks down pretty much anything extremely quick, even coatings. So any coating, I mean, you're not gonna have five years if you're driving this car in, in the nasty Ohio winter time. I mean, in my opinion, I don't think that that is reasonable to assume that a coating is gonna last that long. But uh, this one should last at least a year, I would think. And I can always do another application of Gliss or whatever I happen to do. Long-winded answer, do Gliss if you have the time. Uh, I would say it's worth it. Dark colors, it makes them pop. Light colors, it just shines it up. So I mean, there's really no um, <laughs> downfall to it. I think it's worth it. Unlike the ultra foaming shampoo from Adams, I don't know if I'm completely sold on that. So um, anyways, check out the links below and I will see you guys next time. Here you go. That doesn't look much different than the regular Adams. I put about the same in. As you guys can see, the bottle is pretty purple and there's not a lot of water. So I'll show you how much more I'll add to it. So here we go. So that's pretty much double what was in there. Okay, so checking in, I'm gonna do this a lot recently. I've been finding out that the sound is so much clearer in the garage and the lighting is pretty good. Um, as you can see, I mean, Jesus, you know, it's very foamy, but <laughs> it's a lot more money. It's, you know, it's, it's more expensive to buy something that's foaming about the same. And I had to dump like twice as much in as I thought I needed. Uh, so I'm really just using at least the same amount for about, you know, slightly more foam. So as I kind of mentioned in my other video, I'm not super crazy about this stuff. However, um, I just did an application of this as a drying aid for the M3, which is amazing. It saved me so much time. You can touch the windows with, the, uh, with your drying rag. I'm using the Gion Silk Dryer with this, and man, I'm super happy. And I also tell you, I got this sort of fancy, fancy, expensive, I think, I think it was like 15 or 20 bucks for this Quasar. It's like a double sprayer. When you let it go, it sprays too, which is really cool. Um, but I will say that has, I wouldn't say changed my life, but that is a product I would definitely recommend. So I'm gonna talk about that in another video here, but I did want to tell you about a few random stuff. So I'm kind of all over the place here. I did try some smart water application, very, very good. Um, Reload versus X2O, and this is a normal drying aid that I use very frequently, not every single time, but very frequently for coatings. It does streak on the windows, and it is harder to deal with than X2O, which I did dilute uh, 1 to 10, so X2O, and uh, this stuff is really great. And of course, there's a freaking car with its alarm going off. So I don't know if that car alarm's gonna stop, but it's a good sign to stop the video here before the sun completely goes down because this is number two 
for detailing cars today. I will see you guys next time. Links are in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.